Okay. Well, one very good example, um, if you want to look at um, also some of the work that Eurocontrol is doing, um, we, you have different flying techniques. To, so to put that in, in, a, in a simple context, we have um, a technique called um, continuous descent operations, which what that means is that an aircraft will descend as much as possible continuously. What um, you have to take into consideration, of course, before we do anything or any of the stakeholders take any kind of decision or look at scenarios is safety is primordial. Safety is the most important aspect that we all have to take into consideration. So at an airport and around an airport, as, as we know, as you've seen before when you've looked at the operational side, is it's a very, very busy environment. Aircraft are coming in all different, from all different directions. They're landing and they're taking off. So if you want an aircraft to, to come in on a continuous descent um, operation, which means it descends as smoothly as possible, you have to take into consideration restrictions in the area where it comes in because there's other aircraft that are also coming in and there's aircraft that are taken off as well. So it is possible to do that. You have to take into consideration, okay, the speed of the aircraft, how big the aircraft is, the other aircraft that are coming in as well. Are they coming in fast? Are they coming in slow? Do they coming in from, from, um, from across the Atlantic? Are they aircraft that are coming in um, just from more local flights? All this air traffic controllers are taking into consideration. Then you have the airlines that have to come in. They're part of that as well. So the airlines are looking at what kind of aircraft I have. How easy is it for them in the current system that we have to fly those routes, to descend continuously. And of course the airport has to look and bring all those people together, facilitate the interdependencies and see, okay, what are the routes um, and what particular times of the, of the night or the day is the noise actually causing the most problems? So as you can see, there are so many different strands, so many different elements, so many different stakeholders um, to bring them all together around a table to um, look at the interdependencies, who can do what under the current legislation, and of course um, making sure that the airlines can respect their slots, that you can get your aircraft in and out as many times in the day that you can to keep the passengers happy as well. So it's a complex business, we are getting there, we're doing a lot of work, goodwill is needed on every side and Eurocontrol's role is to facilitate all of that.